Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video that shows how you can take an existing file whose audio is too low and reprocess that file and the resulting file will have the audio at a higher volume. Sometimes when you're on YouTube looking at an instructional video you will not be able to hear the video very well so you will try to turn up the volume in YouTube using the YouTube volume control. That doesn't work so you think well maybe it's my computer so you go to your computer and you see that you've got the volume turned all the way up you might go deeper to sound preferences and sure enough you see you've got input and output volume at a hundred percent and it's not you it was the guy who made the video he had this slider on input put too low the more you put it down the dimmer is the audio if you get up below a hundred percent sometimes you get rumble and that's disagreeable there's a trick to set it right back at a hundred double tap mute that works only if you're on the right side if you're on the left side and you double tap nothing happens but if you're on the right side it works perfectly I've got a video that I've made that has the volume set too low and that's this video right here and I'm going to reprocess that video using this file. Now to explain further and not confuse you, I am recording right now using this terminal and I'm using FFmpeg, this one. And this is my output file, it's called output. Let me just show you what FFmpeg looks like to record this screen. I've got other videos on YouTube that shows this in more detail. I'm going to tap it and it says do you want to run this? No it's already running. I'm going to display it. And uh, gedit comes up and the stuff in black is what's running. The stuff in blue is commented out with a crosshatch symbol that tells the computer to ignore the comments, to ignore the remarks. FFmpeg using also sound, stereo, pulse audio system, grabbing the screen, five frames a second. Here's my screen resolution. And I've got all the audio codecs, the video codecs, that's 264. Lossless, and then the resulting file is coming out on my desktop. The path is home, user, that's me, pop, desktop, capital D, and then the, the name of the file, output.mkv. And I'll close this. And here is what's being recorded right now. Now, this file right here is also FFmpeg but I'll open it up. Do you want to run it? Well not yet. I want to show it in display. This file will process an existing file and increase the sound. There's a note up here that says 256 is 100 percent. I've changed the volume to 1280. So the way it reads is FFmpeg input file path is home pop desktop low sound that's the name of the file dot mkv and then here is the output file home pop desktop and it's going to be called high sound mkv this is the low sound file right here I'm going to tap this again and run the program. Run in terminal. It just takes a couple seconds. It must have popped out below. Yeah, here it is. Now, on the left is the input file. 
On the right is the output file. To demonstrate that this is low sound, this is high sound, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file that I am creating right now and I'm going to put it first and then it, as soon as I say goodbye it's going to pick up and start playing this one and it'll be followed immediately by this one and I'm going to merge these three files together and my name is Pop and I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos that show how to use Ubuntu and other things and if you enjoyed this I hope it was of some benefit to you and I thank you very much. You should barely be able to hear me right now because I've got the input set very low even though I've got the microphone on. You should barely be able to hear me right now because I've got the input set very low even though I've got the microphone on.